Hi everyone, I'm WFAA Chief Meteorologist Pete Delkus in Dallas, Texas with a quick update on what's taking place down into the tropics. Okay, we do have several disturbances that we're watching in the tropical Atlantic, also uh, down here in the Caribbean. And a quick recap of the, uh, the hurricane season forecast, 15 to 21 named storms, 7 to 10 hurricanes, and then majors were going to range anywhere from 3 to 5. So that, that's been the forecast, and that was updated about two weeks ago or so, maybe 10 days ago or so. But what have we done so far? Well, so far we've had eight named storms. We've had three hurricanes and only one has been a major hurricane. If you remember uh, the end of last week when Grace made landfall in Mexico right around uh, Veracruz, just a little north of Veracruz, it became a category three like that right before landfall. So we have had one major hurricane so far. Now, where are we as far as the season goes? Well, Henri has been the latest named storm. The next one on our list has been Ida. So we're moving right along. And remember with the hurricane season, the climatological peak is September 10th. Okay, that's the peak of the season climatologically. But when we look at when the majority of the activity takes place, two thirds of the activity takes place between uh, August 20th and October 10. So two thirds of Atlantic hurricane season activity occurs between August 20th and uh, uh, October 10, with the peak being September 10. With all of that said, just a quick recap right there, what's going on with Henri right now? You could still see the system, I mean, it's really just not moving a whole lot. It made landfall uh, in Rhode Island, coastal Rhode Island. Right now it's situated 60 miles north, northeast of, here's New York City, so you can see where it's located. It's a post-tropical storm right now, winds of 25, but it's still dumping a lot of rain. It's still causing some beach erosion issues right along the coast, so we'll continue to watch that. It will move off to the northeast as we head through tonight, really the next 24 to 36 hours before it emerges uh, back over the uh, Atlantic. But uh, again, there's going to be a continued problem there uh, in the northeastern United States with the rain, the wind, and the beach issues that's occurring. So we have several systems that we're watching right now. We have this one down around uh, Caracas. We have two others out here in the tropical Atlantic. But it's this one here that I'm most concerned about right now for the state of Texas because the European model just today, now I don't want you to, I don't want you to freak out over this, but the European model just today in 10 days from now, I think that's like September 2nd, September 3rd, it brings this system right into the Dallas Fort Worth area. None of the other models do this. And I can promise you that these models are going to flip flop all over the place over the next 10 days. So that's the European model. The American model takes it into Central America. So these, both of these models are going to evolve, but I just want to give you a heads up. It's uh, the, the most active time of the season in the tropics. Texas certainly has never been spared from tropical systems, nor will it be this year either, but we will watch this system uh, that's down. Uh, it's, it's in the, the Lesser Antilles right now. We'll continue to watch that. It's emerged down here in the far, far southeastern corner of the Caribbean. We will watch that, and of course, we will keep you updated with the activity that's taking place in the tropics. But remember, there we are. That's the little disturbance right now. Day one, we'll see wh what happens with it on day 10. That's the latest here from the WFAA studios. I'm WFAA Chief Meteorologist Pete Delkus with your tropical update.